Oropesa, Padilla, Pavley, Price, Romero, Runner, Smidian, Steinberg, Strickland, Walters, Wiggins, Wolk, Wright, Wyland, Yee. Members, we have a number of items, a number of assembly bills that are eligible to be taken up at this time. Do we have a floor manager for AB 97? Do we have a floor manager for AB 97? Do we have a floor manager for AB 737? Senator Padilla, AB 737? Members under motions and resolutions without objection, Senate Rule 29.3B will be suspended for ABs 2358, AB 1955, and AB 1741. There is objection to this motion. A roll call is required. It takes 21. Senator Flores is asking for an I vote. Senator Hollingsworth is asking for a no vote. Secretary, call the roll. Takes 21 votes. Honested? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? No. No. Blakesley? Calderon? Cedillo? Cogdell? Corbett? Yeah. Aye. Correa? Denham? Desaunier? DeCheney? Aye. Aye. Dutton? Emerson? No. Flores? Aye. Aye. Hancock? Harmon? No. no. Hollingsworth? No. no. Huff? No. no. Kehoe? Aye. Aye. Leno? Aye. Aye. Lou? Aye. Aye. Lowenthal? Negrete McLeod? Aye. Aye. Oropesa? Padilla? Aye. Aye. Pavley? Aye. Aye. Price? Yes. Romero? Aye. Aye. Runner? Smidian? 
Steinberg? Strickland? Walters? No. Wiggins? Wolk? I. Wright? I. Wyland? Ye. Call the absentees. Blakesley? Calderon? Cedillo? Cogdell? Correa? Denham? Denham, no. Desaigne? Dutton? Hancock? I. Lowenthal? I. Orpesa? Price? Runner? Smidian, Steinberg, Strickland, Wiggins, Wyland, Yee. Runner, no. Call the absentees. Blakesley, Calderon, Cedillo, Cogdell, Correa, Gisonye, Dutton, Orpesa, Price, Smidian, Steinberg, Strickland, Wiggins, Wyland, Yi, Yi, I. Steinberg. Call the absentees. Blakesley, Calderon, Cedillo, I. Cogdell, Correa, Desaigne, Dutton, Orpesa, Price, Smidian, I. Steinberg. I. I. Strickland, Wiggins, Wyland. Call the absentees. Blakesley, Calderon, Cogdill, Correa, Desaigne, Dutton, Orpesa, Price, Strickland, Strickland no. no, Wiggins, Wyland. Call the absentees. Blakesley. Called run. Cogdill. Cor Correa. Desaigne. Dutton. Oropesa. Price. Wiggins. Wyland. Eyes 19, nose 10. Senator Flores moves a call. Senator Padilla, are you prepared to take up AB 737? Yes, ma'am. Secretary, please read AB 737. Assembly Bill 737 by Assemblymember Chesbro and acclaimed to solid waste. Thank you very much, Madam President. Uh, members may recall my presentation on this bill uh, from a few days ago relative to uh, the recycling policies and requirements for the state of California. Many of you are familiar with uh, Assemblymember, or excuse me, yeah, uh, at the time, uh, Byron Scher, who established the current uh, policy of seeking a 50% diversion rate of waste from our landfills, and it's done a tremendous uh, job in uh, developing a recycling industry and creating a lot of jobs in the process while reducing our dependence on landfills in the state of California. Uh, not every, but uh, most local jurisdictions have attained that 50% level, if not have surpassed it. And we've learned a lot in the process. I believe it's time to raise the level, raise the bar from a 50% to a 75% diversion rate. That's what Assemblymember Chesbro's bill uh, calls for. Uh, and as part of giving our local entities the tools they need to attain those levels, this bill also calls for a commercial recycling component uh, would require local jurisdictions to adopt, if they haven't done so already, an ordinance for commercial recycling. That is the essence of the bill, and I ask for your support. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honested? Alquist? I. Ashburn? Blakesley? Calderon? Cedillo? I. Cogdell? Corbett? I. Correa? Denham? Desaigne? I. Duchenne? Dutton, Emerson, Flores, I. Hancock, I. Harmon, Hollingsworth, no. Huff, no. Kehoe, 
I Leno, I Lou, I Lowenthal, Negrete McLeod, Oropesa, Padilla, I Pavley, I Price, Romero, I, I Runner, No Semidian, I Steinberg, I Strickland, No Walters, Wiggins, Wolk, I Wright, No Wyland, Ye, Ye I, Call the absentee, Honestad, Ashburn, Blakesley, Calderon, Aye. I, Cogdell, Correa, Aye. no, Denham, DeCheney, Denham, no, DeCheney, I, Dutton, Emerson, Harmon, no, no. Negrette McClough, Calderon, I don't know, Dutton, Emerson, Negrette McLeod, Oropesa, Price, Walters, Wiggins, Wyland. Eyes 18, nose 9, Senator Padilla moves the call. Members, we're going to lift the call on the suspension of the Senate rules. We're going to lift the call on the suspension of the Senate rules. Secretary, please call the absentees. Blakesley, Calderon, I, Cogdill, Cogdill, no, Correa, Desaunier, I, Dutton, no, Orpesa, Price, Wiggins, Wyland, Wyland, no. Eyes 21, nose 13, the Senate rules are suspended. Members, we have, well, let's check first, AB 2202. AB 2202, do we have a floor manager? AB 2202. Senator Duchenne, for what purpose do you rise? Under motions and resolutions. Please proceed. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Madam President. Members, I have a letter to the journal that I'd like to submit. I understand it has been reviewed by both sides. Um, it is with respect to SB 289, uh, which we concurred in uh, yesterday. Uh, and it is, clarifies um, our intent with respect to uh, local planning permits. Senator Giudicini, please bring the letter to the desk. Do we have a floor manager for AB 2509? AB 2509. Senator Liu, for what purpose do you rise? Um, I have AB 97 to take up if... Uh, AB 97 is, is ready. Secretary, please read AB 97. Assembly Bill 97 by Assemblymember Torlakson, an act going to school curriculum. Thank you, uh, Madam President. Members, it's been over a decade since the adoption of California's K-12 content standards in history and science. However, earlier this year, we were able to agree on a commission process to update our math and language arts standards. This commission process from SB15X Steinberg allowed California to review the National Common Core standards and up... Thank you, and ultimately update our standards with a hybrid of the best from the Common Core and California's concepts. Now our math and language arts standards will continue to be not only the best in the nation, but competitive with countries around the world. History and science have been left behind. In 10 years, we've experienced 9-11, decided Pluto is not a planet, and made enormous advances in genetic research. Yet none of this is reflected in state content standards because current law does not provide for the updating process. The ability to update our standards is also needed to align our academic standards with our career tech standards. AB 97, modeled on SB 15X process, will provide for an update of our core academic standards in history and science by creating an academic content standards commission with appointments by the governor and legislature to develop 
and recommend updates to the history and science standards for the State Board of Education, and I ask for your support on this bill. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Oh, Senator Onestad on this item? Just, just a question of the author, or the floor jockey. Please proceed. <clears throat> This requires that the majority of members appointed to this have to be actively practicing secondary or elementary school teachers. I'm wondering, when we're talking about science standards and we're talking about um, history standards, why wouldn't we be looking for noted historians, people with degrees in history such as college professors? Why wouldn't we be talking about people in the, from the scientific community, scientists, who might recognize what would be needed in the educational process in California to put out good science-oriented folk, rather than uh, members who we all know would then have to be members of the California Teachers Association? Is there any other discussion or debate? I didn't get an answer to the question. Okay, Senator Liu, you may want to address this on your close. It's Senator uh, Liu, you may close. Thank you very much for the question. I um, am not quite familiar enough with the process of the makeup of the commission, but it has been working for us in this state, and I would trust the um, folks who are elected to these commission to do a, an excellent job because they take this job seriously and it's meant to uh, bring California students or have st develop standards that really challenge our students uh, to do better than, than um, actually what we do across this country and be competitive around the nation. So I would certainly ask for your support on this bill. Secretary, call the roll. Honestead. No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? No. Blakesley? No. Calderon? Cedillo? Aye. Cogdell? No. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Aye. Denham? No. Desaunier? Aye. Duchenne? Dutton? Emerson? Flores? Aye. Hancock? Aye. Harmon? No. Hollingsworth? No, Huff. Okay. Aye. Aye. Kehoe? Aye. Aye, Leno. Lou? Aye. Lowenthal? Aye, Aye Negrette McLeod? Aye, Oropesa? Padilla? Aye, Aye Pavley? Aye. Aye, Price? Romero? Aye. Aye, Runner? No, no Semidian? Aye. Aye, Steinberg? Aye, Aye Strickland? No. no, Walters? Aye. Aye. Wiggins, Wolk, I Wright, I Wyland, No Ye, Ye I, Calderon, I. Eyes 22, nose 10, the bill is passed. Senator Kehoe, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Madam President. Uh, without reference to file, could we take up AB 2202? AB 2202, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 2202 by Assembly Member Manuel Perez and echoing to the New River. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, this bill requires that any funds from the proposed new water bond um, allocated for the cleanup of the New River in Imperial County only be spent consistent with the strategic plan that is in development. The bill requires the Secretary of Environmental Protection to oversee the expenditure of the bond funds. Um, I respectfully ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honestad? Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Aye. Blakesley? Calderon? Aye. Aye. Cedillo? Aye. Aye. Cogdill? Aye. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Aye. Aye. Denham? Desaunier? No. Duchenne? Aye. Dutton? Aye. Emerson? Flores, I Hancock, Harmon, I Hollingsworth, No Huff, I Kehoe, I Leno, Lou, I Lowenthal, I Negrete McLeod, I Oropesa Padilla, 
Aye. Pavley? Aye. Price? Romero? Aye. Aye. Runner? Smidian? Steinberg? Aye. Strickland? Aye. Walters? No. Wiggins? Wolk? No. Wright? Aye. Wyland? Aye. Ye. Ye no. Denham no. Blakesley no. Honestead? Call the absentees. Honestead? Aye. Emerson? Hancock, no. Emerson, aye. Leno? No. Oropesa? Price? Aye. Runner? No. Wiggins? Ayes 27. Yes. Ayes 27, noes 10. The bill is passed. Senator Yee, AB 226. Secretary, please read. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Assembly Bill 226 by Assembly Member Tarico and our claim to county employees' retirement and declaring their heirs to the right to take effect immediately. Thank you very much, Madam President and Senators. Uh, AB 226 is sponsored by the Board of Supervisors at the Sacramento County and is supported by all impacted county employee groups. Uh, it does, uh, this bill does two things. First, it clarifies that compensation paid to a retiring member of a retirement system that was deferred based on concessions agreed in a collective bargaining agreement will be considered compensation earnable and second implements the retired provision of the recently negotiated bargaining agreement between Sacramento County and Sacramento County Deputy Sheriff's Association. Now, this agreement uh, includes establishing a new lower retirement tier for some of the new county law enforcement employees of 3% at age 55 rather than the current 3% at age 50. With that, urge an I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Senator Harmon. Thank you, Madam President. Just a note to my Republican colleagues, this is an urgency 27-vote uh, bill. Our computers do not seem to indicate that. Senator Blakesley. Question of the author. Please proceed. Uh, in our analysis, uh, there's an indication this legislation uh, may not be consistent with the MAW bill we just voted on in terms of how uh, certain benefits are treated for the purposes of spiking. Could you help me understand what the differences are in the MAW bill versus what we would be authorizing uh, through statute in this action? Well, what, 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 this, what this bill will do is to uh, essentially lower the, uh, um, the compensation or to lower the retirement benefits that uh, may in fact be achieved. So it does just the opposite of uh, the MAW because there is no going to be spiking. Uh, thank you. On my own time, our, our uh, analysis uh, indicates that it, it would include a vacation and unused sick time for the purposes of uh, helping encourage certain members to retire now, which would not be consistent with the MAW bill, and I'm happy to be corrected if someone else has a better understanding, but that's what our analysis seems to indicate. Is there any other discussion or debate? Seeing none, Senator Yee, you may close. Uh, you know, if, if uh, you know, Senator Blakesley, if you, you, you want, uh, you know, we can hold this bill over, clarify that particular point, uh, and well, why don't we do that? Uh, I think uh, Senator Anastas has indicated that. Let me hold this bill over, and we'll come back to you again. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Yee. This bill will be put over. Do we have a floor manager for AB 2509? AB 2509. Members, we have a few bills from the Appropriations Committee. The desk needs a few more minutes to get these ready. Then these five items will be eligible to be taken up at this time. In the meantime, while we are awaiting that, is there any other member that has an item to be taken up under, on any part of the Senate file? Any member that has an item to be taken up or to be moved to the inactive file? Let me also acknowledge that we have several assembly bills still on the file. Approximately 13 have, do not yet have an identified floor manager. You may want to look through the file. If there's a bill that particularly intrigues you, you may want to call the member and volunteer to become a floor manager. Senator Lowenthal, for what purpose do you seek recognition? 
We are. We can take up unfinished business. Yes. Do you have a couple of items? Uh, members, no Senate bills have yet been returned from the Assembly to the Senate. So we are awaiting to take up concurrence on those bills that are coming from the Assembly. Sen Senator Emerson, are you prepared to take up AB 2098? Yes. Secretary, please read AB 2098. Assembly Bill 2098 by Assemblymember Miller, an act going to public contracts, declaring the urge thereof to take effect immediately. Secretary, please read. She, he, he did. Th he read it. Okay. Senator Emerson, you may proceed. Thank you, Madam President and members. Um, Assembly Bill 2098 seeks to authorize the State Highway 91 route corridor improvement project the single largest transportation construction project in Southern California. In fact, the largest in our state since the east uh, span of the Bay Bridge. This important measure will put more than 18,000 people to work in an area that's been hit hard by unemployment. This six lane highway expansion project will also clear up s severe traffic gridlock and congestion in Riverside and Orange counties and uh, it's moving forward in compliance to avoid any uh, pro uh, Prop 35 concerns. This has been a joint project with the Riverside County Transportation Commission and the um, PEG, the uh, Professional Engineers in California Government. This bill has received strong bipartisan support in both houses and I respectfully request your I vote on this important measure. Is there any discussion or debate? Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero on the urgency, ayes 37, no zero on the measure, the bill is passed. Do we have a floor manager for AB 185? AB 185. Do we have a floor manager for AB 194? Do we have a floor manager for AB 827? Do we have a floor manager, Senator Calderon, which item? 900. AB 900. Secretary, please read. It's the bell. Assembly Bill 900 by Assemblymember De Leon and echoing to property taxation and declaring there is the right to take effect immediately. To rebate the. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam President, members. AB 900 was introduced uh, in response to the state controller's finding that the city of Bell collected excessive property taxes from its homeowners. What happened in Bell was illegal and these overpayments need to be refunded to my constituents immediately. This bill is narrowly drafted. It orders the city of Bell to send the money owed to homeowners to Los Angeles County which amounts to 2.9 million dollars and then directs the county to administer those funds, those refunds. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Senator Strickland. Thank you, Madam President. M uh, members, I rise in support of this measure. Um, once again, the legislature is doing the controller's job. The bottom line is, as reported by the LA Times, the PERS board of which the controller sits on knew about the Bell scandal four years ago. And four years ago, the controller did not step forward and talk about this issue. He waited until it happened, and now the legislature has to come in and I think it takes real chutzpah for the controller to come forward and now say, okay, I'm going to have a press release in hand and now I'm going to fix the situation. Where was the controller four years ago? He was silent. It's about time that the controller do his job, do, does his job so we don't have to see measures like this on the floor. But I do rise in support because I think it's about time that someone does the controller's job and I'm glad the legislature is stepping forward. Is there any other discussion or debate? Senator Negrete McLeod. Yes. Um, members, members, I'm asking for silence in the chamber. I was wondering why the good member from Simi Valley keeps talking about the controller's office. I was just, I was just curious. Uh, Mr. Mr. Calderon, where does the money come from that we're going to return? Where, where does the what come from? Where does the money come from that we're going to return? Does it come from our coffers? No, it does not. Okay. Okay. 
I would like to respond. Senator Strickland, yes. S since my name was uh, mentioned about being the good gentleman from Simi Valley. Excuse okay. me. No, no. Excuse me, members. But I am the yes, excuse me. Point of personal privilege, of Senator personal Strickland privilege. is recognized. Senator point Strickland, the floor is yours. Point of personal privilege. I am a set the state senator from Simi Valley, and this is how it affects Simi Valley. The police chief in Bell happened to be a former police chief in Simi Valley, and Simi Valley has to pay the bill of the high salaries on the pensions that we need reform on. And so it's, uh, it's very directly related to Simi Valley. In fact, that same police chief also worked for the County of Ventura, of which I also represent. So in the County of Ventura, in the city of Simi Valley, it's very relevant that we have a controller that does his job. Seeing no other discussion or debate, Senator Colladon, you may close. Yeah, I just want to say, um, in defense of the controller, yes. Currently, the investigation, part of the investigation by the Attorney General's office is determine, to determine whether or not <laughs> what PERS allowed to happen was legally allowable and maybe something we need to look at to change, in which case they were operating under the law and so was the controller. But the findings will bear uh, what action needs to be taken at that point. And with that, I ask for your I vote. Senator Wright, Senator Calderon has closed, but do you have a this question for the floor manager? A, a point of information is a question. The funds that we're discussing in AB 900 are property tax funds, as I understand it, which have nothing to do with PERS. So if I understand the bill correctly, we're asking the, the Bell City Council through the city of Bell to return to the county of Los Angeles over collected property taxes, which has nothing to do with PERS or pensions or anything else. Help me if I'm misunderstanding the bill, Senator Calderon. That's correct. Oh. Okay, and uh, again, Senator, Senator uh, Calderon, you may close. Again, to clarify, the city of Bell is writing a check to the controller's office. In turn, they will be refunding the monies back to the citizens of Bell. Ask for your I vote. Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing no objection, ayes 37, no zero on the urgency, ayes 37, no zero on the measure, the bill is passed. Do we have a floor manager for AB 185? 194, Senator Duchaney, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 194 by Assembly Member Torico, an act to retirement, and declaring that the urge to take effect immediately. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President and members, in the same spirit of um, Bell-related legislation. Uh, this uh, is a bill that would limit the salary of a member of the public in retirement system uh, that it, under current law, uh, affects uh, some of the uh, non uh, bargaining unit employees and and um, higher level managers, uh, but this would limit and cap the amount uh, of a salary that can be computed for purposes of PERS to a maximum of 125 percent of the governor's salary. Um, it does have an escalator in it uh, for the future, a, a cost of living um, ability to change that number. The current governor's salary is $173,987. Um, that would mean that the pensions would be limited uh, to a maximum of $217,000 as the basis uh, for calculating uh, future pensions. This is similar to the salary limit uh, put in place, like I said, for certain other exempt employees, but this would be for everyone who is covered by PERS and STRS. Um, it would cover all public employees, represented, non-represented, state and local, um, and it's somewhat lower than the current federal cap, uh, but it would uh, give us a standard for all of the state and based on something that we can all understand, uh, which is the governor's salary. Ask for your I vote. Senator Denham. Madam President, I rise in support, uh, but I do have a concern and actually a question for the author. Where was the controller on this one? 
Senator Cheney, it seems like a perennial question. You may I, answer and close. I have no idea. Um, I think it, uh, he sponsored the prior bill, uh, but as I recall the situation at PERS, uh, part of the question Mr. Calderon was pointing out um, is whether the staff um, advised anyone of what they were doing with Bell. Uh, but this is unrelated to that. This is capping. This comes under the nature of the larger pension reform issues for PERS, for the state that we are doing to try to rein them in, like our new collective bargaining agreements like some of the other legislation um, that has passed through this house and will be coming back soon. Um, this is about capping the PERS pensions for all of our employees so that we don't have um, these excessive salaries and it will apply to locals as well as for your I vote. Is there any other discussion or debate? Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Secretary, call the roll. Onstead? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Blakesley? Aye. Aye. Calderon? Cedillo? Cogdell? No. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Aye. Aye. Denham? Aye. Aye. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Duchenne? Aye. Aye. Dutton? Emerson? Aye. Flores? Aye. Hancock? Harmon? Aye. Aye. Hollingsworth? No. no. Huff? Kehoe? Aye. Aye. Leno? Lou? Leno I, Lou? No. Oropesa? Or Lowenthal? Aye. Negate McLeod? Aye. Padilla? Aye. Pavley? Aye. Price? Aye. Romero? Aye. Aye. Runner? No. Smidian? Steinberg? Aye. Aye. Strickland? Aye. Walters? No. Wiggins? Wolk? Wright? Aye. Wyland? Yee. Yee aye. Emerson? Emerson? Let's call aye. the absentees. Ashburn, no. Calderon? Aye. aye. Cedillo? Dutton? No. Hancock? Aye. Huff? Orpesa? Smidian? Wiggins, Wolk, Wyland, Wyland no, Huff no. Ayes 24, no's 10 on the urgency, ayes 24, no's 10 on the measure. Senator Cheney moves the call. Senator Kehoe, are you prepared to take up AB 827? I am indeed. Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 827 by Assemblymember De La Torre in acting to local public employees and declaring the urge thereof to take effect immediately. Thank you, Madam uh, President. Uh, members, this bill just left the Appropriations Committee on an 11 0 vote, uh, unanimous. Um, has to do with uh, uh, fiscal reforms relative to the City of Bell, but it covers the state. Uh, the uh, bill would prohibit an, an employment contract for a local. Uh, excluded employee from including any clause that provides for an automatic renewal or automatic pay raises in, in, in excess of the uh, normal cost of living adjustment. It would also require a performance review. Um, it is supported by the Los Angeles District Attorney. Again, it left uh, uh, the Appropriations Committee with unanimous support. I ask for your aye vote. Is there any discussion or debate? This Seeing is none, a two-thirds vote, Madam Chair. Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Secretary, call the roll. It is an urgency measure. Honestead? Aye. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Blakesley? Calderon? Cedillo? Cogdell? Aye. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Aye. Aye. Denham? Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Duchenne? Dutton? I Emerson, I Flores, I Hancock, Harmon, I Hollingsworth, I Huff, Kehoe, I Leno, Lou, Lowenthal, Negrete McLeod, I Oropesa, Padilla, I Pavley, I Price. I Romero. I. I Runner. I, I Smidian. Steinberg. I, I Strickland. 
I. Walters. I. Wiggins. Wolk. I. Wright. Wyland. I. Ye. Ye. I. Call the run. I. Call the absentees. Blakesley. I. Ashburn. I. Denham. I. Cedillo. Duchenne. Hancock. I. Huff. Leno. I. Lou. I. Lowenthal. I. Oropesa. Smidian. Wiggins. Wright. Wright. I. Smidian. I. Cedillo. I. Call the absentees. Duchenne. I. Huff. I. Oropesa. Wiggins. Ayes 37, no zero on the urgency. Ayes 37, no zero on the measure. The bill is passed. Members, do we have a floor manager for either AB 185 or AB 2509? Okay, members, we have a number of bills that are on call. We are going to lift calls at this time. Then we're going to go back and ask if any member has an item to be taken up on any part of the Senate file. If not, the desk will be clear. Let us, let us, uh, my secretary, if I may have a list of the bills on call. We have one page, members. One page of bills on call. Members, I, I will be willing to replace the call, but we pretty much are clearing up at this point. So think carefully if you wish to have your bill replaced on call. File item 110, call the absentees. Ashburn, Correa, Lou, Orpesa, Pavley, Wiggins. Senator Wright. Correa, I. Call the absentees. Ashburn, I. Lou, or Orpesa, Pavley, Wiggins. Eyes 21, nose 14, the bill is passed. Pavley, aye. The, file item 106, call the absentees. Calderon. Negrete McLeod. Oropesa, Wiggins. Members, I'm going to ask for us to have quiet in the chambers. Sergeants. Sergeants, can you please patrol the rear of the chambers, take unnecessary conversations outside of the Senate chamber. We are lifting calls. Members, it is very difficult to hear at the desk. Call the absentees on file item 106. Calderon. Aye. Negrete McLeod. Oropesa. Wiggins. Senator Desaulnier. Moves a call. File item 111, call the absentees. Negrete McLeod, Oropesa, Smidian, I, Wiggins. Eyes 18, nose 18, Senator Desaulnier, do you wish to replace the call? Replaces the call. File item 118, call the absentees. Oropesa, Wiggins. Eyes 23, nose 14 on the urgency. Eyes 23, nose 14 on the measure. Senator Yee. The measure fails. Do you wish reconsideration? Okay, that measure fails. AB 1542, without reference to file, call the absentees. Ashburn, Cedillo, Emerson, Cedillo, I. Emerson, Hancock, I, Huff, Oropesa, Steinberg, I. Wiggins, ye. Ye, I. Call the absentees. Ashburn, Emerson, 
Huff. Oropesa, Wiggins. Runner, no to I. Call the absentees. Ashburn, no. Emerson, Huff, Oropesa, Wiggins. Call the absentees. Emerson, Huff, Oropesa, Wiggins. Eyes 26. Emerson, no. Eyes 26, nose 10 on the urgency. Eyes 26, nose 10 on the measure. Senator Alquist. The measure fails. Without objection, Senator Alquist is asking for reconsideration. Eyes 37, nose 0, reconsideration granted. File item 121, call the absentees. Oropesa, Steinberg, aye. aye, Wiggins, Wright, aye, ye, ye aye. Ayes 21, no 16, the bill is passed. File AB 1011, without reference to file, call the absentees. Cedillo, aye. aye. Cheney, aye. aye. Hancock, aye. aye. Lou, Oropesa, Lou, aye. Steinberg, aye. aye. Wiggins, right. Right, aye. Ayes 23, nose 14, the bill is passed. File item 115, call the absentees. Cedillo, aye. aye. Oropesa, Steinberg, aye. aye. Wiggins. Ayes 22, nose 15, the bill is passed. File item 48, call the absentees. Cedillo. Aye. Leno. Aye. Orpesa. Padilla. Steinberg. Aye. Wiggins. Ayes 21, nose 15, the bill is passed. AB 737, without reference to file, call the absentees. Honestad. Ashburn, aye. Blakesley, Cogdell, Dutton, em no. Emerson, Negrete McLeod, Oropesa, Price, Walters, Wiggins, Wyland. Call the absentees. Honestad, Blakesley, Cogdell, no. Emerson. Negrete McLeod. Oropesa. Price. Aye. Walt. Blakesley, no. Walters. Wiggins. Wyland. Calderon, no to aye. Ayes 21, no's 11. The bill is passed. AB 194, without reference to file, call the absentees. Cedillo, aye. Oropesa, Smidian, Wiggins, Walk. Walk, aye. Call the absentees. Smidian, aye. Oropesa, Wiggins. Eyes 27, nose 10. The bill is on the urgency. Eyes 27, nose 10 on the measure. The bill is passed. Members, uh, S Senator Yi had agreed to put over discussion on AB 226. That issue has been resolved. He's prepared to take that up at this time. AB 226, Secretary, please read. Assembly Bill 226 by Assemblymember Tarico, an act to county employees' retirement and declaring the urgency of to take effect immediately. Senator Yi. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President. Um, I, I, I believe that um, uh, the other side of the aisle uh, got the answer, but just to reiterate, uh, there is no spiking here. These are just simply dollars and benefits uh, that normally would be accrued uh, because of their uh, particular work. And so with that urgent, I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? You see none. Secretary, call the roll. Honest, Ed. Alquist. 
Ashburn, Blakesley, Calderon, Cedillo, Calderon I, Cedillo, Cogdill, Corbett, I, Correa, Denham, I, Denham, no, Desaunier, I, Duchenne, Dutton, Emerson, Flores, I, Duchenne, I, Dutton, no, Hancock, Harmon, Hollingsworth, no, Huff, Kehoe, I, Leno, I, Lou, I, Lonthal, I, Negretta McLeod, I, Oropesa, Padilla, I, Pavley, I, Price, I, Romero, I, Runner, I, Smidian, Steinberg, Strickland, Walters, I, Wiggins, Wolk, I, Wright, I, Wyland, Ye, Ye, I. Call the absentees. Honestead, no. Alquist, I, Ashburn, Blakesley, no. Cedillo, Cogdell, Emerson, no. Hancock, I, Herman, no. Huff, Orpesa, Smidian, I, Steinberg, Strickland, Wiggins, Wyland, Wyland I, Cedillo I. Call the absentees. Ashburn, Cogdell, Huff, Orpesa, Steinberg, Strickland, Wiggins. Eyes 25, no 7 on the urgency. Eyes 25, no 7 on the measure. Senator Yee moves a call. Senator Emerson, for what purpose do you seek recognition? Under motions and resolutions. Uh, uh, Madam President and members of the Senate, I have a letter I'd like to put into the journal concerning my AB 569 and uh, have it printed. Senator Emerson, please bring the, the letter forward. Senator Correa, for what purpose do you Madam rise? President, I want to see if we can take up AB 1581, file item 133. File item 133. Hold on, what's up? Senator Correa, this bill, as of this morning, was re-referred to Rules Committee. It is not in possession here on the floor. It is in possession of the Rules Committee. It is not eligible to be taken up at this time. Members, let me just acknowledge we've received word that a number of bills, a few bills, are being sent from the Assembly to the Senate floor. It would behoove us to work these bills this evening. Tomorrow will be a busy day. And we have a number of members who are ready to take up items existing on the current Senate file. Senator Cedillo, for what purpose do you seek recognition? Yes. Uh, Behind the Calderon brothers? Yes, uh, before the uh, Majority Leader leaves, I'd like to place item 88, AB 2483. Assemblymember Cotto's bill on the inactive file. File item 88 on the inactive file. Desk will note. Senator Ashburn, for what purpose do you rise? Thank you, Madam President. I have a letter to the journal regarding Senate Bill 812. This has been approved by both sides. Please bring the letter to the desk. Senator Liu, which item are you prepared to take up at this time? AB 12. AB 12, one moment. Senator Liu, AB 12 is currently being amended. It is not eligible this evening. It will be eligible tomorrow. Senator Lowenthal, are you prepared to take a file item 91? Y yes, I am, Madam Secretary, President. please read. File item 91. Assembly Bill 2578 by Assembly Member Jones, not going to health care coverage. Thank you, Madam President and members. Assembly Bill 2578 requires approval from the Department of Insurance or the Department of Managed Health Care before health insurance premiums may be raised. Rate hikes that are excessive would be rejected. Any proposed rate 
that is not acted upon by the department within 60 days would be deemed appro uh, approved. As you know, members, earlier this year, a Anthem Blue Cross, Anthem Blue Cross notified approximately 800,000 persons of their policyholders that there would be premium increases of up to 39%. Soon thereafter, Blue Shield notified small businesses that provide insurance to their employees of a rate increase of 75%. And yet the Federal Consumer Price Index for health care costs over the last year was only a 4% rise. Currently, an estimated 8.2 million Californians lack health insurance, millions more are underinsured, and even those who have adequate coverage are worried that they will lose it. Members, other, law, other states are passing laws to give the state the authority to reject excessive rate increases. Earlier this summer, Governor David Patterson signed health insurance rate regulation into law in New York. There are now more than 20 states that require prior, prior approval from the state before health insurance rates can go into effect. This AB 2578 builds on the success of Proposition 103, which requires prior approval of rate increases for automobile, home, property, casualty insurance from the, casual, from the California Insurance Commissioner. In conclusion, members, when it comes to auto insurance and homeowners insurance, the Insurance Commissioner has the power to prevent excessive rate increases. Why would we provide less government oversight for health insurance? I ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Say none. Senator Leno. Yes, I know I've got other work to do, so I won't take much time. But to underscore the points that Senator Lowenthal has just made, yes, we do have oversight for insurance policies covering auto, property, home, casualty. Why this is so important now is the federal government is going to require everyone to have health insurance. And without some oversight and some approval by our elected insurance commissioner, this will just be a huge windfall for industry at the expense of every consumer who will be required by law to acquire this. So I would ask for an I vote. Is there any other discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honestead, <coughs> no. Alquist, I. Ashburn, Blakesley, Calderon, no. Cedillo, Cogdell, no. Corbett, I. Correa, no. Denham, no. Desaunier, I. Duchenne, Dutton, no. Emerson, no. Flores, I. Hancock, I. Herman, no Hollingsworth, no Huff, no Kehoe, I Leno, I Lou, Lonthal, I Negretta McLeod, Oropesa, Padilla, Pavley, I Price, I Romero, I Runner, no Simidian, Steinberg, I Strickland, Walters, no. Wiggins, Wolk, Wright, no. Wyland, Ye. Smitty and I. Call the absentees. Blakesley, no. Ashburn, no. Cedillo, Duchenne, I. Lou, Negrette McLeod. Oropesa, Padilla, Strickland, Wiggins, Wolk, Wyland, no, no. ye, ye, I. ye I. Strickland, no. Strickland, no. Eyes 15, no 17, Senator Lowenthal moves a call. Members, do we have a floor manager for file for AB 185 or AB 2509? Senator Padilla, for what purpose do you rise? At the request of the author, I would like to move AB 797 to the inactive file. AB 797 to the inactive file.
Arwin, can you please come to the podium, please? Members, we're awaiting the uh, transmission of those bills from the assembly. The desk still has to take a look at them. In the meantime, is there any member who wishes to take, to take up an adjournment in the memory of? Any items on condition of the file? Members, if you will take a look at the file one last time for this evening. Is there any member who has an item to take up at this time or to move to inactive? Okay, members, we have a number of items on call. We're going to go ahead and do one round of lifting these items on call. Secretary, if I may have a list of the items on call. Thank you. Members, we have four items on call. File item 106. AB 1934, call the absentees. Negrete McLeod. Odapesa. Wiggins. De Cheney, no to aye. Yes. Call the absentees. Negrete McLeod. Odapesa. Wiggins. Ayes 20, no 16. Senator DeSalnier replaces the call. File item 111, AB 1810, call the absentees. Negrete McLeod, Ordo Pesa, Wiggins. Call the absentees. Negrete McLeod, Ordo Pesa, Wiggins. Okay, so, so eyes 18, nose 18, the measure fails. Without objection, reconsideration granted, eyes 37, nose 0. AB 226, without reference to file, call the absentees. Ashburn, Cogdell, Huff, Oropesa, Steinberg, Strickland, Wiggins. Ayes 25, no 7 on the urgency. Ayes 25, no 7 on the measure. Senator Yee replaces the call. File item 91, call the absentees. Cedillo. Aye. Lou. Aye. Negrete McLeod. Oropesa. Padilla. Wiggins. Wolk. I 17, no 17, Senator Lowenthal replaces the call. Senator Price, for what purpose do you rise? Uh, Ms. Madam President, uh, at the request of the author, I'd like to move uh, 25, AB 2509 to the inactive file. AB 2509 is moved to the inactive file at the request of the author. Thank you. Members, let's give the desk a few minutes to wait. We are just waiting for final word on those bills coming over from the assembly. Does any member have any item to be taken up at this time or any announcements?
Rise. Members, let me uh, take an opportunity, if I may, to um, get your attention on a close in memory of. Adjournment in the memory of. Robert Bobby Paul Lopez, born June 10th, 1925, left us. And he was an incredible working class man. He was a man who, if Tom Hanks hears this or sees this, is going to want to make a movie about him. Uh, he was born and raised a, a typical downtown Temple Street uh, neighborhood kid. Uh, he was a boxer. Uh, he re represented us as, as the National AAU Boxing Championship with Jackie McCoy in Reno, Nevada in 1941. Uh, he turned professional at the age of 16 and fought uh, as a teenager but as a pro under a different name as Bobby Fuentes between 1941 and 1943 and he was fighting uh, in, the, in the same boxing camp as Jim Jeffries. His hopes for a world championship, however, were set back by his entry into the uh, Army during World War II. And during his career in the Army, he was a champion, uh, welterweight boxing champion. Uh, he served in the 17th Airborne Division. And he was extraordinary because he fought in the great battles of World War II. The Battle of the Bulge in Bastion, Belgium. Uh, he fought against the third rank. Uh, he flew into these areas in Reims, France, uh, and actually was uh, hit by a, by a bomb, and he was uh, left on the side. But he survived his amazing will to live uh, on the other side of uh, the enemy's lines. Uh, he survived and, and saw these great battles uh, and came back to the United States. He had obtained two Purple Hearts and three Bronze Stars. Uh, his career in boxing, however, uh, was frustrated, uh, and he came back shortly, uh, fell in love, uh, married his wife, Beatrice Marianne Virgil, and they had their six kids, Monica, Larry, Mike, Sam, Roberta, Johnny. Uh, he referred to them as his uh, six-pack, and he continued to train boxers, and during that time period, he joined the uh, efforts to organize our trucking industry. He was a soldier in the Teamster efforts to organize the trucking industry and worked uh, on several strikes with James R. Hoffa. Uh, he was a leader in his international, uh, worked with his locals, and raised his kids to become strong working class advocates and to become people who spoke up for the disadvantaged. Uh, his children include uh, leaders in the Teamster movement, uh, leaders in the movement for uh, Mexican-American empowerment and leaders in uh, the movement to defend the rights of undocumented immigrants. Uh, I ask that we acknowledge uh, this great American, this great patriot, uh, and acknowledge his passing by closing in the memory of uh, Senator Robert, Cedillo, Robert our, Paul Lopez. Our deepest condolences to the family and please bring the name to the desk. Members, we are going to lift the call on file item 106, AB 1934. Call the absentees. 106. Negrete McLeod, Oropesa, Wiggins. Ayes 20, no 16, the measure fails. Without objection, reconsideration granted. Ayes 37, no zero, reconsideration granted. Senator, Ye no. Senator Lowenthal, are you prepared to lift the file on file item 91? We've got two items on call. We can wait till the very end unless you're ready to have. Wait until the end. Okay, we'll wait on that for a moment. We, members, we're waiting for the pro tem to return from the assembly. We're just trying to establish the number of bills that we have and what might be eligible to be taken up this evening.
opportunity tomorrow evening to give a very strong thank you to all the members here in the Senate who work the desk. It is amazing, at least from my point of view, to be able to see them working the desk as we work our file. Let's give an enthusiastic round of applause and thank you to all the members of the Senate desk for their very hard work. <laughs> Standing ovation, I agree. And likewise, we'll have occasion to thank our Senate sergeants, but let's give them a very enthusiastic thank you this evening as well. It's been a busy day. Thank you to our sergeants. Should we just lift calls on these two bills? Assembly bills still without an identified floor manager. If you know the member, you may want to call that member and urge him or her to assign a floor manager, or if there's a bill that you'd be interested in managing, please notify the author and the desk.
Kelly. Brian Kelly, will you please approach the dais?
call on AB 226 without reference to file, AB 226. Secretary, call the absentees. Ashburn, Cogdill, Huff, Oropesa, Steinberg, I, Strickland, Wiggins. Call the absentees. Ashburn, Cogdill, Huff, Oropesa, Strickland, Wiggins. Call the absentees. Strickland, no. Ashburn, Cogdill, Huff, Oropesa, Wiggins. Call the absentees. Ashburn, Cogdill, Huff, Oropesa, Wiggins. Eyes 26, nose 8 on the urgency. Eyes 26, nose 8 on the measure. Senator Yee replaces the call. Under Members under motions and resolutions, pursuant to Senate Rule 29.10, the following bills are referred to the Rules Committee. SB 127, SB 220, SB 608, SB 1394.
Lift the call on AB 226, AB 226 without reference to file. Call the absentees. Ashburn. Cogdill. Huff. Oropesa. Wiggins. Wyland, I don't know. Call the absentees. Ashburn, Cogdill, Huff, Oropesa, Wiggins. Call the absentees. Ashburn, Cogdill, Huff, Oropesa, Wiggins. Call the absentee one last time before we either announce the vote or replace the call. Ashburn, Cogdill, Huff, Oropesa, Wiggins. Ayes 25, knows 9 on the urgency. Ayes 25, knows 9 of the measures. Senator Yee replaces the call. Senator Lowenthal, are you prepared to lift the call on your item at this time? File item 91, call the absentees. Negrete McLeod, Oropesa, Padilla, Wiggins, Walk. Senator Lowenthal. I-17, no 17, the measure fails. Without objection, reconsideration granted. I-37, no zero, reconsideration granted. Resolutions, file item 88 will be removed from the inactive file and back on file. File item 88.
a number of Senate bills that are that may be ready to go. We're checking with the Republican caucus to see if their analyses are up to date. If these are ready, we can go ahead and take up these Senate bills at this time. AB 226, left the call on AB 226, call the absentees. Ashburn? Aye. Cogdill? Huff? Orpesa? Wiggins? Emerson? No to aye. Ayes 27, no's 8 on the urgency. Ayes 27, no's 8 on the measure. The bill is passed. We are ready to go. Members, we have about 10 items that are eligible. These are all unfinished business. I will read these items, and if you wish to take up your item, we encourage you to do so at this time. Senate Bill 5. Senate Bill 5. Senator Hollingsworth, for what purpose do you rise? Senate Bill 5. Senate Bill 5. Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 5 by Senator Hollingsworth, an act related to criminal victimization and declaring their serve to take effect immediately. Thank you, Madam President. Senators, this is the final piece of the Chelsea's Law package of bills. This is a measure that we approved unanimously uh, just a few days ago. The language was placed into this uh, bill number from the previous bill. The amendments in the assembly were pretty much technical in nature. Uh, they don't change the bill's substance at all. If you recall, this allows for parents to withhold the information regarding the most sensitive information of the autopsies for their minor children. And uh, this passed out of the assembly uh, with only one no vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Secretary, call the roll. Honestead? Aye. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Aye. Blakesley? Aye. Calderon? Aye. Cedillo? Cogdill? Aye. Corbett? Correa? Aye. Denham? Tissonnier? Aye. Duchenne? Aye. Dutton? Aye. Emerson? Aye. Flores? I Hancock, I Harmon, I Hollingsworth, I Huff, I Kehoe, I Leno, Lou, I Lowenthal, I Negretta McLeod, I Oropesa, Padilla, I Pavley, I Price, I Romero, I Runner, Smidian. Steinberg, like 427, I Strickland, 455. Walters, I Wiggins, Wolk, Wright, I Wyland, I Ye, Ye No, Denim I, Leno I, Wolk I, Cedillo I. Call the absentees. Corbett. Oropesa, Runner, Smitty, Strickland, Wiggins. Strickland, I. Eyes 33 knows one on the urgency. Eyes 33 knows one on the measure. The amendments are concurred in. Senator Negrete McLeod, are you prepared to take up Senate Bill 427? 427. That measure is ready to be heard at this time. Secretary, please read. The Consumer Bill. Okay. Senate Bill 427 by Senator Negrete McLeod, an act going to automotive repair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, SB uh, 427 is a consumer protection measure that seeks to close a loophole in existing law regarding replacement airbag, airbag fraud. The most significant of the uh, assembly amendments deleted a controversial requirement that 
<laughs> that the repair invoice inform auto body repair customers about parts switching. They also removed the opposition of the California Automotive Automobile Association. While not all of the opposition has been removed, this is still a very modest bill. The legislation is uh, sponsored by the Center for Auto Safety and is sponsored by the Consumers Union, the Personal Insurance Federation of California, among others. I respectfully ask for your aye vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honestad? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Blakesley? Aye. Calderon? Cedillo? Calderon aye. Cedillo aye. Cogdell? No. Corbett? Correa? Aye. Aye. Denham? No. Desaunier? Aye. aye. Duchenne? Aye. Dutton? No. Emerson? No. Flores? Aye. Hancock? I Harmon, Hollingsworth, no Huff, Kehoe, I Leno, I Lou, I Lowenthal, I Negrete McLeod, I Oropesa, Padilla, I Pavley, I Price, I Romero, I I Runner, no Smidian, Steinberg, Strickland, no Walters. No, Wiggins, Wolk, I, Wright, I, Wyland, no, Ye, Ye, I, Harmon, no, Corbett, I. Ayes 22, noes 11, the amendments are concurred in. Senator Negrete McLeod, you also have Senate Bill 1141? I do. Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 1141 by Senator Negrete McLeod and Ackland Airports. Thank you, Madam Chair. Members, this bill has been, I've been carrying this bill for three years. Hopefully this is a charm. Um, SB 1141 would allow counties without airport land use commissions or designated countywide bodies to apply for the reimbursement of costs associated with the establishment of an airport land use commission. Airport land use commissions were established in the late 1960s by the legislature to establish land use plans for compatibility between the airports and the surrounding communities in response to several aviation accidents. These independent bodies help provide a more objective environment to balance the safety around airports with potential revenue from development of land around airports. The provisions of the bill will hopefully compel the few counties without ALUCs or designated countywide bodies to move towards better land use planning and increase public safety by forming an, AL, an, an AL, ALUC or designated countywide body. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honested? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? No. Blakesley? Calderon? Cedillo? Calderon, aye. Cogdell? No. Corbett? Aye. Correa? I Denham, Desaunier, I Duchenne, I Dutton, no Emerson, no Flores, I Hancock, I Harmon, no Hollingsworth, no Huff, no Kehoe, I Leno, I Lou, I Lowenthal, I Negrete McLeod, I Oropesa, Padilla, I Pavley, Price, I Romero. I. I Runner. No Semidian. Steinberg. I Strickland. No Walters. No Wiggins. Wolk. I Wright. I Wyland. No Ye. Call the absentees. Blakesley. I. Cedillo. Denham. No. Oropesa. Pavley. Smidian, Wiggins, Yi. Yi, I. Ayes 21, noes 13, the amendments are concurred in. Senator Lowenthal, Senate Bill 455. Secretary, please read. <clears throat> Senate Bill 
Senate Bill 455 by Senator Lowenthal and now going to high speed rail. When uh, Senate Bill 455 left the Senate, it had several provisions, including provisions requiring the governor's seven appointees to the high speed rail authority to be subject to Senate confirmation. Assembly amendments deleted all other provisions of the bill except the provision requiring Senate confirmation for the appointees of the High Speed Rail Authority. I ask for concurrence in Assembly amendments. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honestet? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Aye. Blakesley? No. Calderon? Aye. Cedillo? Aye. Cogdell? I Corbett, I Correa, I Denham, Desanye, I Duchenne, I Dutton, no, Emerson, no Flores, I Hancock, I Harmon, Hollingsworth, no Huff, no Kehoe, I Leno, Lou, I Lowenthal, I Negrete McLeod, I Oropesa Padilla. I Pavley. I Price. I Romero. I. I Runner. No Semidian. I Steinberg. I Strickland. No Walters. No Wiggins. Wolk. I Wright. I Wyland. No Ye. Ye I. Harmon. Harmon no. Denim no. I is 20. Leno I. Ayes 25, noes 12, the amendments are concurred in. Senate Bill 1328, Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 1328 by Senator Lowenthal and acting to air pollution. Thank you, Ma <coughs> Madam President and members. The Assembly amendments make technical changes, clarifying that the Air Board shall consider the policy direction in 13, SB 1328 when adopting or amending regulations. The previous version of the bill asked the Air Board to consider this policy direction when developing regulations. This bill has not received any no votes and there is no opposition. I respectfully ask for concurrence in assembly amendments. Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero. The amendments are concurred in. Senate Bill 543, Senator Leno. Not at his desk. Senate Bill 972, Senator Wolk. Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 972 by Senator Wolk and acclaimed to indemnity. 972, the Assembly amendments clarify existing law and provide that the duty and cost to defend are limited to claims that are the result of a design professional's negligence, recklessness, or willful misconduct. The bill has bipartisan support and no known opposition. I ask for your concurrence in assembly amendments. Is there any discussion or debate? Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37. Is there objection? Secretary, please read. I mean, Secretary, call the roll. Honestead, aye Alquist, aye Ashburn, aye Blakesley, aye Calderon, aye Cedillo, aye Cogdell, aye Corbett, aye Correa, Denham, I. Desaunier, I. Duchenne, I. Dutton, I. Emerson, I. Flores, I. Hancock, I. Herman, I. Hollingsworth, Huff, I. Kehoe, I. Leno, I. Lou, I. Lowenthal, I. Negrete McLeod, I. Oropesa, Padilla, Pavley, I Price, I Romero, I, I Runner, I Smidian, I Steinberg, Strickland, I Walters, I Wiggins, Wolk, I Wright, I Wyland, I Yee, Ye I, Korea I, Hollingsworth I, Padilla I. Ayes 36, no zero, the amendments are concurred in. Senator Wolk, Senate Bill 1214, Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 1214 by Senator Wolk and to Crisis Nurseries. Senate Bill 1214 will extend the sunset date for the Crisis Nurseries to January 1st, 2014 to allow them to operate 
under a special licensing category designed for their unique services. The assembly amendments phase out the use of crisis nurseries to provide emergency placements by child welfare services and eliminate the use of crisis nurseries by foster families. They also add chaptering out amendments. There is no opposition. I ask for your I vote in concurrence. Is there any discussion or debate? Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero. The amendments are concurred in. Senator Leno, Senate Bill 543. Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 543 by Senator Leno, an act to mental health. Thank you, Madam President. The amendments taken in the assembly are rather straightforward. They move the bill from the Welfare and Institutions Code to the Health and Safety Code and clarify that this does not create a new benefit under Medi-Cal. I would ask for your I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honestad? No. Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Aye. Aye. Blakesley? No. Calderon? Aye. Cedillo? Aye. Cogdell? No. Corbett? Correa? Denham? No. No. Desaunier? Aye. Aye. Duchenne? Dutton? No. Emerson? No. Flores? Aye. Hancock? Aye. Harmon? No. Hollingsworth? No. Huff? No. Kehoe? Aye. Leno? Aye. Lou? Aye. Lowenthal? I under Greta McLeod? Aye. Oropesa? Padilla? Aye. Pavley? Aye. Price? Aye. Romero? Aye. Aye. Runner? No. Simidian? Aye. Steinberg? Strickland? No. Walters? No. Wiggins? Wolk? Aye. Wright? Aye. Wyland? No. Ye. Ye aye. Duchenne aye. Correa, no. Call the absentees. Corbett, aye. Oropesa, Steinberg, Wiggins. Ayes 22, noes 14, the amendments are concurred in. Senator Wright, are you prepared to take up Senate Bill 1119? Secretary, please read. It's good stuff. Oh. Senate Bill 1119 by Senator Wright and Ackling to Healthcare. I'm going to be short. This bill extends um, the protections for nurses who are going into hospitals. It's already done for long care facilities. You might have recalled the, the article in the Times a while back where people didn't know that registry nurses, when they often go to hospitals, are not screened as well as the nurses who work in the hospital or nurses who work in long care facilities. It extends the same field. It's supported by uh, the Hospital Association, it's supported by SEIU, it's supported by AMI, the largest placement agency in the country. I'd ask for an I vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Secretary, call the roll. Honestad? Alquist? Aye. Ashburn? Aye. Blakesley? Calderon? Aye. Aye. Cedillo? Aye. Cogdill? Aye. Corbett? Aye. Correa? Denham? No. Desaunye? Duchenne? I. Dutton? No. Emerson? I. Flores? I. Hancock? I. Harmon? I. Hollingsworth? No. Huff? I. Kehoe? I. Leno? I. Lou? I. Lowenthal? I. Negretta McLeod? I. Oropesa? Padilla? I. Pavley. I. Price. I. Romero. I. I. Runner. I. Simidian. Steinberg. Strickland. I. Walters. No. Wiggins. Wolk. I. Wright. I. Wyland. I. Ye. Ye. I. Correa. I. Onset. I. Desaunye. I. Blake. C. I. I. 31. Nose 4. Simidian. The I. Ayes 32, noes 4, the amendments are concurred in. Senator Calderon, are you prepared to take up Senate Bills 1406 and 1407? SB 1406, Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 1406 by the Committee on Business, Finance, and Insurance, an act to insurance. 
Thank you, Madam President, members. This bill uh, makes it illegal for children to be afraid of clowns. As for, no, I'm just kidding. I want to make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> this is a uh, uh, banking finance and insurance bill. Uh, clarifies that after there's an earthquake, uh, insurance companies can focus on serving their current customers' needs as long as they continue making the mandatory offer of earthquake coverage within 60 days. There's no opposition. Ask for your aye vote. Is there any discussion or debate? Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero. The amendments are concurred in. Senate Bill 1407, Secretary, please read. SB 1407. Senate Bill 1407 by the Committee on Business, Finance and Insurance and Accolade Insurance. Thank you, Madam President. Members, uh, this uh, committee bill clarifies the investment authority for excess fund investments of the state comp insurance fraud. This bill has no, no votes and no opposition. I ask for your I vote. Is there any objection to using the unanimous roll call? Seeing none, ayes 37, no zero. The amendments are concurred in. Senator Calderon, for what purpose do you rise? Still looking for that clown, huh? Members, we have exhausted the list of Senate bills that were returned to us from the assembly desk. Members, we have one bill remaining. Actually, we have ex we do not have any other bills on call. We are awaiting word from the pro tem as to adjournment for the evening. to the Senate chambers. In the meantime, I just want to let you know that we did dispense with 66 items today. We dispensed with 66 items. We had several committee meetings as well. I think it was a productive day, and we are positioned well for the final day of the legislative session tomorrow. I know it's been a long day. We, many of us have been waiting, but we are nearing the end, and I want to thank everybody for your cooperation on be, for being here on the floor ready to move when the items were returned to the Senate floor for our debate and discussion. Members, we are just awaiting for the pro tem to return to the Senate floor so that we may figure out the schedule for tomorrow and adjourn for the evening.
Senator Steinberg, recognized at Senator Steinberg's desk. Senator Steinberg, you are recognized. I'd like to let you know that the members were quite productive as you were working the assembly. We dispensed with the bills that have been returned to us and we are eagerly anticipating and awaiting your word for the evening. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Madam President. First of all, um, great work by the body, thank you. Uh, it was very productive, um, but for the fact that uh, the budget isn't completed, which is the most important piece of work. Otherwise, it's been a very smooth, smooth end of session thus far. We have about 30 assembly bills or so left to take up. Some of them have uh, 30 or so assembly bills. We have probably an equal number of Senate bills that are either here and need to be referred out to committee tomorrow morning and or are still coming from the assembly. So 50 to 60 measures at most. And tomorrow's schedule, of course, is as follows. At 10 o'clock, we will start promptly and take up uh, the two current versions of the budget. We'll have a good, robust civil debate tomorrow on our floor. <laughs> robust. <laughs> And then we will, uh, if we take a short, uh, short break, we'll come right back by 12.30, 1 o'clock, and we will work through the remaining items, which I think concurrences should go fast. Um, there aren't that many assembly bills left. You know, we should be out of here at the very latest uh, by early evening tomorrow if we just, if we just work it. So. That is the report. There's a Democratic caucus at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning in the, in the Maddie Lounge session at 10 o'clock. About. Senator Hollingsworth, for what purpose do you rise? To call a retaliatory caucus, I mean a Republican caucus. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. of room 305 also. Members, Republican and Democratic caucuses at 9 a.m. Members, under motions and resolutions, pursuant to Senate Rule 29.10, the following bills are, ref are referred to the Rules Committee. Senate Bill 890, Senate Bill 1456, and Senate Bill 1163. Is there any other item to come before the House? Senator Steinberg, the desk is clear. The Senate stands in recess. <laughs>